Hey everybody, welcome. Just hello, we're glad to see you here. My name is Tom Wheeler, and we are here today to celebrate uh, the next chapter in the remarkable story of PRS Guitars. We have a number of uh, highly esteemed, great artists uh, with us today. We're going to meet them in just a few minutes. First, I do want to acknowledge our guest of honor today. Uh, he's a great friend of this company. He's one of the greatest artists to ever pick up an electric guitar. Say hello to Carlos Santana. PRS has 12 new models at this show, and that's really why we're here, why we're here. We're going to talk about that in a moment. For now, however, I want you to forget about the 12 new models. I want you to know that everything in the PRS line has been changed. There are about 30 production changes to these guitars that we are going to see across the line from now on. You'll notice that the uh, birds, the fingerboard inlays are different, but that's really only an aesthetic detail that really kind of celebrates all of the production changes that you're gonna see in these guitars. So they do have 12 new models. That's a wonderful thing, but you should know that this is really a new day for PRS. These guitars are gonna be different. I think they're hey, the best guitars PRS has ever made. In looking at kind of the big picture here, I am reminded of some things that Carlos has said about uh, tone and artistry uh, over the years. Because he has inspired us not only with his musicianship, but with his wisdom and his insights. Uh, one time Carlos said, I can tell you every piece of gear I've ever used, and you're still not going to sound like me. And another time he said, and this is probably my favorite quote about trying to nail a particular sound, Carlos has said, you're not supposed to sound like anybody else. And we've all done this, we've all obsessed about equipment, we've all said, you know, maybe if I had a different battery in my tube screamer, you know, I would sound like so-and-so. But I think Carlos is right, and I, I think this is really all about letting the instrument be your voice because while it's fun to try to nail that favorite lick that favorite tone off a favorite record whatever the case may be there's really no substitute for finding your wings finding your own voice and for me as a guitar player i think that is perhaps the greatest gift of PRS guitars over the years. As you know, these instruments are built to the highest standards in the world. They don't have limitations. They are tools, they are for us to find our own voice, to explore, to create. That's what I value most in PRS guitars. Now, you know as well as I do that a lot of manufacturers in introducing a so-called new model, sometimes just take a pickup from one and a pick art from another and a neck and they sort of reshuffle the deck and they put it together in a new coat of paint or whatever and call it a new model. I want you to know that is not what's happening here. We're seeing substantive changes. Like, we're not going to talk about all the specs of all the models. I'll, I'll give you a couple of examples. I was uh, talking to David Grissom uh, last year, and he was going to tell me about the new David Grissom trim. Well, I thought of McCarty. What are you going to do to McCarty? I mean, I didn't mean to sound skeptical, but I thought, you've got a wonderful guitar here. Well, he enumerated for me from top to bottom every single detail in the DGT. And I have to tell you, I was sitting there thinking, yep, that's a good idea. Yep, that's one I'd appreciate on a gig. That's one I'd appreciate in a recording session. All of these things, Joe Nags, who's so important to this company, and his team, they have labored for months, and in some cases, years, to make these the best guitars that PRS has ever made. So I really encourage you to take your time. Paul Reed Smith is demonstrating these instruments uh, on the hour here in the booth with our friends uh, Gary and Greg and Mike. And uh, the, the, the demos are quite wonderful. You're going to get a kick out of them. So uh, make sure that you... Uh, make sure that you check those out. Uh, I, I do want to talk a little bit about uh, some of our uh, uh, guests today, but I, before doing that, I just want to turn the focus briefly to the 12 new models. 
you know, I don't know about you, if, if I didn't know the people here at PRS, my reaction might have been, uh, does PRS really need 12 new models? I mean, frankly, I've ne I don't know about you, I've never heard anybody say, boy, that PRS, you know, would really be a great line if only they had about, you know, a dozen more models. They already have an extremely versatile uh, line from the very affordable SEs up to the artist models and the private stock models. But what this is really about is not just having a bunch of guitars because it's an AM show. This is really about some very hardworking people who come into work every single day. What can we do to make these guitars better? A lot of intention, a lot of purpose, a lot of thoughtfulness. Again, I think they're the best guitars uh, PRS has ever made. I do want to mention uh, one other guitar, one that Carlos and PRS have collaborated on. It's the new Santana MD. And there's a circuit in there that also shows up in the uh, McCarty uh, 2. And it's basically like a little uh, studio mixing circuit. Imagine having a switch where you could just throw a switch and you go from a modern sound that sounds like a, a stack with subwoofers to a holy grail early 60s classic single coil tone. That's one of the details that you're going to see on, uh, on some of these guitars. It's so important that we have artists here today. They've done so much, not just for PRS, but for this industry. These folks can play any guitar they want. They step forward, they choose to stand with PRS, they play these guitars in the studio, on stage. We can't thank them enough. Let me introduce some of the folks that we have here today. Uh, Mike Mushak is here from Spain. And, uh, as you know, that band does a lot of very interesting uh, baritone guitar work, and uh, he's here today to talk about uh, his new uh, SC baritone guitar. It's his first uh, PRS signature model. Uh, David Grissom is here, David with the uh, Dixie Chicks, and so many other great players. Uh, Carlos Santana will talk about this amazing new uh, uh, Santana MD. I got to be with Carlos as he received the guitar. It was a wonderful moment, but I want to let him uh, tell you uh, about that. I want to acknowledge uh, Gary Granger. Wherever Gary is, his brother Greg and uh, uh, Mike all, let's give them a hand helping out with the demo. You can see them uh, on the hour. We're so lucky to have them. Uh, Lee Richards and Tony Rombola of uh, the, the band's Another Animal and Godsmack are here. Um, from Godsmack to Toby Keith, I think you're getting kind of a sense of the range of artists who have found these instruments to be vehicles for expressing themselves. I'll say hi to Rich Eckhart with, uh, with Toby Keith. A great friend of this company for many years, going back literally to the first days of PRS. He's playing with Paul Rogers right now, which is very exciting. Uh, say hi to Howard Lease. A great rocker, that's all I need to say, Pat Travers. Frank Romano with Rob Thomas and Usher is here. Avonfeld with Avril Lavigne is here. Uh, Mike Scott with Justin Timberlake. A really soulful guitar player, I like him a lot. He's played with Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, Quincy Jones, many others. Paul Jackson Jr. is here. There's a really nice man who will tear your head off if given an opportunity, but he's such a good guy, the inimitable Johnny Highland. Yeah. 